another episode of Wild and Crazy Adventures of a Childhood. Um, so I promised you yesterday that I would share with you another funny story as I'm at my mom's house and my dad's house, but they're at date night. So, and like I said, good for them. But when I was younger, my parents would make the mistake of sharing stuff with me and I would find it hilarious. So I took it upon myself to kind of find fun when we would have picnics or barbecues or big family gatherings to kind of take center stage and share these stories. And one of them is this. When my mother and dad uh, got married in the 60s, they took their honeymoon driving cross country because my father was on leave from uh, serving in the Air Force in um, Kansas. He actually, he was in Topeka, Kansas at a, a small Air Force base right off it, the interstate, the major interstate there. And my mother had a job. It was the only job she's ever had. She never worked. She always was a full-time mom and she worked for Payless Shoes in their accounting department. And she used to do their accounts receivable and payroll. And that was when my parents were literally on their honeymoon and they were still newlyweds, married not even a year. Well, when they decided to move back to Connecticut, my dad told my mom, go to the, um, it, was, it wasn't called Latrine, it's the name of a store. My mother knows it, it's an acronym but it's on, it's on base and it's a lot cheaper to buy things there than it is to buy things on the civilian market, I guess. And he said, stock up on tampons. They are so much cheaper, buy all the tampons you want and we're gonna take them back to Connecticut because we're gonna save a fortune. Well, so in my parents' little car, they had, my mom did not have a driver's license yet. She got her driver's license when I was about, I would say a few months old. It wasn't, I wasn't that old when, so my parents were already married for five or six years before my mother even got her driver's license. So when I was, um, so my dad had this red cooler that he still has in the basement today, or it might be in the garage or in one of the attics in the house. He um, loaded that cooler up with refreshments and a lot of ice, a lot of ice to keep those refreshments cold while they were driving from Topeka, Kansas to stay with my dad's cousins in Ohio. And by the time he got there, he went to pop the trunk to get some refreshments out for his cousins that he was staying with. And he looked and he went, oh no, this is not good. Uh oh, and his cousin is standing there looking, going, "Well, Raymond, we got ourselves quite a predicament. What are we gonna do here?" And he goes, "I don't know. I don't know." Doanne spent all of her money on buying these tampons, and now they're ruined. Well, they did their job. My dad's cooler sprung a leak. And the entire, all the ice melted. It was a huge cooler. It could it could hold like a month's worth of food. It was enormous. And it sprung a leak on the bottom. The little cork came out. Or actually, it was a big cork. I know the cooler because I grew up with it. Didn't realize it was infamous for um, soaking all the tampons. And apparently, they exploded. So my dad's looking at them in the boxes and they're all like huge, but they soaked up all the water in the trunk. <laughs> so my uncle or my cousin and him had this bright idea that they were going to hang these out to dry overnight on the, um, the line. What is that? A clothesline on a clothesline. Is that not hilarious? And Goodness, when I told this story once at one of our family reunions, I think my grandpa, who passed away in 2000, almost wet himself. He was laughing so hard. He said, this is hilarious. So what do I do? I tell more stories. 
and that is Wild and Crazy Adventures of My Childhood. And stay tuned as I upload more. Having a lot of fun doing this, and I pray you're having fun too. So please let us let me know in the comments. And thank you again for subscribing and seeing all these fun videos. They're fun to make. Next time, we will hunt down my mom. I will get her here. I promise. Because there's your story, my story, and the truth. And I think it's important that we get all aspects because my mom would bring a completely different point of view.